Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about purification of fungal cultures. There are several methods to purify fungal cultures. The fungal culture that you obtain from the isolation procedure can be purified and the methods of purification are streaking, dilution plate and single spore isolation. So we will discuss all the methods except the mechanical method. For streaking, we have to make a spore suspension in sterile water. If your fungus that you isolated is a sporulating fungus, then make a spore suspension in sterile water. Take a loop full of spore suspension and streak over an agar surface in petri dish. So you take a loop full of spore suspension from here and then streak over an agar surface in petri dish in a zigzag manner. So with the help of the inoculation loop, you have to touch the surface of the medium and then drag the inoculation loop in this direction. And you get some imaginary lines here and this dragging is complete. So you should not lift the tip of the inoculation loop in between. So you touch the inoculation loop here, go on making streaks and then finally it ends here and then you lift the inoculation loop. So your streaking is over. So as you streak a spore suspension on a medium surface, in a petri dish, the spores which are there in the suspension in the loop will get spread as you go on streaking and number of spores depositing on the medium surface will be less by each turn and at the final turn or final drag you will have a few number of spores depositing on the medium surface and separately and those spores will be few in number and they will be well separated. After that, incubate the strict plate at 25 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius for 5 to 7 days or till the colonies appear along the streaks. So after the end of the incubation period or as you see, um, it may happen anytime, maybe 5 days or 7 days or earlier than that, that you will find small colonies appearing the colonies which are separate well distinguishable they are single spore colonies so we should not take or we should not consider the colonies which are merged together or which are heavy which are in close proximity but those which are well separated from others and small in size they are your single spore colonies these single spore colonies can be picked aseptically and transferred to petri dish or sland and thus you get pure culture of the fungus. Second technique is dilution in sterile water. In this technique, prepare a spore suspension of 10 ml. Then take an aliquot of 1 ml and transfer to another tube with 9 ml of sterile water to make 10 to the power minus 1 dilution. Similarly, you make 10 to the power minus 2 dilution by transferring 1 ml from 10 to the power minus 1 dilution tube to another tube with 9 ml of sterile water. This procedure is similar to serial dilution technique. When we isolate fungi or microbes from soil, we follow serial dilution technique. This procedure is similar to that. Let us see them pictorially. So we have a spore suspension in the left hand side, spore suspension of 10 ml. And then we have uh, five numbers of sterile tubes with sterile water, 9 ml of sterile water in each tube. Okay. Then what we do is Take 1 ml from this 10 ml spore suspension, take 1 ml and pour it in tube number 1. 
so here we had 9 ml of sterile water now we are adding 1 ml from here so it will become 10 ml but the dilution dilution will be 1 is to 10 because we took 1 ml total volume is 10 ml so 1 is to 10 that is 10 to the power minus 1 dilution so here it is 10 to the power minus 1 dilution then make 10 to the power minus 2 dilution by transferring 1 ml from the tube number 1 to another tube containing 9 ml of sterile water so it will become 10 ml again but the dilution will be 10 to the power minus 2 similarly we take 1 ml from 10 to the power minus 2 dilution and transfer to third tube and it will become 10 to the power minus 3 dilution and we go on making more dilutions so you can make as many dilutions as possible the reason behind making dilution is if we do not dilute the spores are too many in number if we go on plating then you will get crowded colonies you will not be able to separate any fungal colony so we do dilution so that the colonies appear separately distinctly and our purification becomes easier now we have got several dilutions from any dilution we can take 1 ml and do plating on the agar surface preferably the lower dilution will be better let us take 10 to the power minus 5 dilution here so we take 1 ml from 10 to the power minus 5 dilution and do plating so after plating we incubate the plate and colonies will appear on the plate these colonies will be well separated pick them and transfer to fresh medium to get pure culture next is tube dilution in this technique take five tubes with sterile melted agar medium take one tube and inoculate with spore roll the tube between two hands and pour the melted and inoculated media to sterile petri dish fill the empty tube with sterile melted medium from second tube roll between two hands and pour to sterile petri dish follow the steps above steps for remaining three tubes at the end of incubation of petri dishes single spore colonies are expected so it is like this we take five number of tubes autoclaved with molten media inside then we inoculate the spore of a fungus the fungus for which we want pure culture to the medium of tube number one so this medium is melted medium but not very hot so you inoculate the spore of the fungus here then roll the tube in between two hands for proper mixing then pour this medium in the tube which has been inoculated with spore of the fungus to a petri dish completely okay then we get a petri dish and your tube number one is empty now now fill this tube number one with sterile melted medium from second tube okay so from second tube we pour this melted medium we pour this melted medium here in the first tube this is the tube where we put spore of the fungus okay but not here it is just a sterile melted medium so we pour the medium here in the first tube so what we get we get first tube filled up second tube blank now we forget the second tube now 
in the first tube we got again medium now what is the principle behind this in the first instance when we put our spore of the fungus in the first tube the first tube was then poured into a petri dish but the first tube still contains some spores first tube still contains some spores because some amount of media may be still there in the first tube there may be spores attached to the surface of the tube then when more media is poured here then those spores will be mixed with the medium again and then we pour this medium from the first tube to the petri dish so here number of spore will be very less in the second plate now follow these steps for remaining three tubes also third fourth and fifth so again the melted medium from third tube will be poured to tube number 1 then tube number 1 will be rolled between two hands some number of spores may still be there in the tube then again pouring to petri dishes then tube number 4 will be emptied to tube number 1 then tube number 5 will be emptied to tube number 1 so likewise we will get five number of petri dishes from each tube tube number 1 tube number 2 3 4 5 5 and we are expected to get highest number of colonies in the first petri dish then very less number here in the second petri dish then again lesser lesser and the least so we will get in the last petri dish we will get a few colonies well separated and those colonies can be picked and transferred aseptically to a slant or a petri dish containing medium so thus we get a pure culture on the fungus now coming to semi mechanical method in this method we make a spore suspension using sterile water take a loop full of it and streak on a petri dish containing thin layer of tap water agar along a marked line incubate at 24 degrees celsius scan the plate using stereo microscope along the marked line and select germinating spores cut 2 by 2 square millimeter on the agar medium around the selected spore using a needle make sure that the square block has only one spore transfer the agar block to nutrient medium using a sterile needle so it goes like this make a spore suspension using sterile water we are discussing semi mechanical method so we start with a spore suspension of 10 ml then take a loop full of spore suspension and streak on a petri dish so we have a petri dish which is already marked okay in the back side of the petri dish we have marked that this will be the line of streaking then we do the streaking after streaking we incubate the plate at 24 and then scan the plate using stereo microscope after incubation we take this petri dish and observe under stereo microscope and see the spores say our spores are like this normal spores are like this and when they germinate they become like this germinate means the spores in presence of nutrient or moisture they produce short hypha this short hypha grows further and produce mycelium then these are germinated spores we look for these germinated spores through stereo microscope okay so the moment we find germinated spores under a stereo microscope we make a marking 
that that our spore is situated here or here or here okay the marking is done on the back side of the petri dish so we make a marking and then according to the marking we make cut on the agar medium square we make a square of 2 by 2 square millimeter around the selected spores and making sure that each square has only one spore okay then with the help of needle we make the cut then transfer the cut agar medium agar block to a fresh nutrient medium in a petri dish aseptically now incubate this what will happen this block this square contains only one spore here and when you incubate this plate with this block this plate will grow a colony that colony will come from the spore which is there in the block and this colony will be your pure culture so this is how we get a pure culture using semi mechanical method now in this lecture we have learned some techniques of purification of fungi if you have any query related to this video you can write to me in the comment box thank you very much